Hi, it's Max from A Better Universe. Uh, today I just want to give you guys a little bit of a background story. If you're in my seven day game changing report, you'll know that you know I was in the Navy, I came out, I was looking for something, and I found it. And that's about really all, as far into detail as I go about my current lifestyle. So, let me go a little more in depth into how I started this process and what brought me here, the outcomes that I'm looking for, and uh, just really who I am. Because I think that's important. I think it's important to know who you're dealing with, their story. I feel like it's a basis of inspiration and being able to relate to somebody who, uh, who came from a place where they weren't happy to uh, a place where they're at least pursuing happiness or a better state inside of their mind. It was 2014 when I got out of the Navy. Um, like I said, I thought work was the answer. I thought if you just kept working hard and stuck to it, and you'd be successful. And hell, maybe, maybe that was part of it. Maybe if you did work hard, you could find a job and they'd take care of you. And if you were loyal, it would just all work out for you eventually. The problem that I was starting to find was no matter how hard I worked, it seemed like everyone was just trying to take advantage of the fact that I was a hard worker. They didn't want to they didn't want to compensate me for what I was doing. Uh, no matter how hard I worked, how fast I ran, how much stuff I got done compared to everyone else. He just seemed to overlook it and take it for granted and um, they expected me to just stay where I was, not say anything, not grow, not achieve more. They would offer me my first job, they offered me a dollar raise after almost working there for a year. Being one of their, you know, one of their best mechanics that they had and I just I had enough so I quit my first job roofing they were paying me about 18 19 dollars an hour which isn't bad um, I joined the roofing union with the aspects of making uh, 28 dollars an hour and that was all well and great. When I joined the union, I came on as an apprentice, uh, I, which means I just had to go to school and I only got about $18 an hour, but every six months they advance you. So uh, in a year's time, I would have been a journeyman, uh, or at least being paid for a journeyman, or two years time, excuse me, I would have been being paid for a journeyman. Just going through all these classes, I already knew everything that they were teaching me in these apprentice classes. The drive was far away. They, they just didn't. They just didn't recognize any of the talent that I possessed. They, they wanted to almost keep me down at a low level. They wouldn't let me expand and grow, and challenge. They wouldn't challenge me. And this was really about the time I started listening to motivational tapes. It was when. You know, that summer when I got into the Union, it would have to be, you know, June of 2000, June or July of 2015 that I started that. And as I started listening to these tapes, I just started to realize that no matter who I worked for or what I did, it just wasn't going to be enough. It's not, it wasn't going to make my life complete and definitely wasn't going to make me happy. Um... I knew that fundamentally once I started, probably a month or two after I started listening to motivational tapes, but I didn't really recognize it consciously for about a year and a half, two years after that, which, you know, brings us to this point right now, almost. So, I quit the union, um, stop roofing for them. I didn't want to go to the apprentice classes because they weren't teaching me anything. And it was an hour and a half drive each way of a waste of my fucking time, honestly. So 
winter came, I took the layoff. Um, up here in upstate New York, can't really roof in the winter. There's a lot of snow. You can, but it's miserable. You don't get anything done. There's really no point. I was running side work with my buddy. We were making some extra money, um, making actually a lot of extra money. But it still wasn't, making extra money still wasn't fulfilling. Uh, I decided to get out of roof and I thought it'd be a little bit better. I was still under this impression that I had to work for other people and that I wasn't ready to expand and grow and make my own thing happen. So I started working for a bridge company and phew, I hated it. I hated every second of it. It was so boring and slow. The work was, it just wasn't for me. It was, I don't know, a slaw space. Or at least on roofing, I could move around and work freely. Uh, I knew what I was doing up there, so no one ever really told me what to do. That sense of freedom, being able to just work without people hovering over my shoulder, was something that I really enjoyed about roofing. So, in that aspect, I gave the bridge company a try for about two months. Decided to call it quits, went back to the union. Wasn't finding what I want, wanted there. Me and my buddy were working for this company, and. Uh, we had a problem with a guy, so we ended up quitting and going to another roofing company. I found better pay there. I found a sense of motivation for a little while. Um, we were turning and burning every day, putting roofs on. Uh, I was the, not the second guy, but the third guy on my crew, which is, makes sense. The second guy had about 16 years of experience. I had about three or two or whatever so it made sense um, but then one day I swear to god I worked so fucking hard all summer for them and then in the end they just ended up fucking me in my opinion for whatever reason I mean it is what it is right gotta look for the companies you gotta look out for the company before you look out for the people because without the company the people don't have any work but I just sat with me wrong. And that kind of just took my motivation away to be any sense of roofer, any sense of... It definitely hit me hard. My work ethic went to the bottom working for them after that moment. And it wasn't... It definitely didn't sit well in my soul, the fact that I was doing something that I hated every day not waking up happy, um, but I've been waiting for an opportunity, and this was kind of the opportunity that I've been waiting for. It was good money, it was a chance to make a nice uh, cushion before the winter came, and I had already started working on my personal development, um, changing my mind, changing my outlook. I had been listening to motivational tapes for two years now at that point. Uh, Jim Rohn, Les Brown, Eric Thomas, uh, Zig Ziglar, you name them, I probably at least heard some of their speeches. Gary V, all these guys said guru. He's not necessarily motivational, but he has definitely has some good insight. And uh, I think really what changed it was, uh, it's a book called The Bug Free Mind by Andy Shaw. Look it up if you want. It's a, uh, it's a development. It's, it was an intellectual path to the ultimate almost. Uh, that's the way I see it anyhow. This guy's intellect, his logic, was so dead on. It was so pinpoint accurate that it, and he had so many references. And he re, reading that book was able to restructure my mind in a way that. I haven't ever seen it made me think differently it made me see things differently it made my perception shift and that was really the turning point was when my perception shift about the way that I thought before that I hadn't realized that my mind just run rampant with whatever it wanted to I never had control over my thoughts I never put it into a process of observing and without judgment so once that happened, 
I can just see it. The momentum, the momentum shift went from, you know, a slow incline to almost a straight up curve. And it started to peak. And as my mind changed, I found what I really wanted to focus on. I started taking out distractions in my life, looking for a purpose and a why and a reason that I was here. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that. I feel like a lot of people, it's hard to think about what you really want to do and the reasons behind it. There's a lot of underlying layers behind everything, behind your fears. It's just built on fears upon fears upon fears. And, you know, your limited beliefs might be, date all the way back to a, a childhood experience that you've slowly built layers on. So it was an unraveling of all these things that brought some clarity to my mind and allowed me to see this higher possibility. So once I saw this higher possibility, um, I just knew that working for other people wasn't going to work for me. But I made the choice to move to this company and I make good money. And at that point, I didn't know what I was. At that point, I couldn't see the opportunity that I had created for myself or I was creating for myself. But now looking back, it's so obvious. I developed my mind and then through the development of my mind, I was searching and clawing and digging for this opportunity. And this opportunity came in the form of three things, I would say, that I developed through my conscious thought. One, I was reading A Bug Free Mind and through uh, the buying process, I entered my email and he sent daily emails or weekly emails or whatever. And I found a book through his emails called The Circle of Profit. Uh, I started studying and developing The Circle of Profit, um, looking into it, researching it, developing it. That was part one. Part two was getting this other job. I had made a significant amount of money to, that I could save. Um, and then the third part was when I got laid off early in November. It opened this window up for me where I didn't necessarily have any real work to do besides the side work that me and my buddy would run on occasion and I had a financial footing where I didn't have to worry about that so I had and I had a business model in front of me to develop so I had free time the financial means and the opportunity the business model the everything came together all at one I would have never seen this looking forward but looking back the dots just connected so perfectly And then, now we're here, basically, more or less. I didn't know, I started a website last year before I even started reading The Circle of Profit to only find out that I'm already, I was already two, three, four steps ahead just from having that website built that it would have brought me to this point right now and kept me in a forward momentum. It's not always going to be easy to see the process and its development in the present moment into the future. But if you just believe in the process, you let it run its course, you do what you're supposed to, you take your disciplines, you grow every day, you develop your mind. When you look back, things just seem like they were falling in place one after the other. Some people might call it luck. Some people might call it opportunity. Some people might just call it fucking hard work. But really, it's how, it's all how you see it, perceive it, and create it in your own terms, in your own mind. <sighs> this process isn't overnight. 
is basically what I'm trying to tell you guys. I started <laughs> listening to motivational tapes two or three years ago, wondering every day, well, when's everything going to break? When's, when am I going to get rich? When is all this going to turn around? I expected, just from listening to motivational tapes, I felt this feeling of change inside of me, but I expected it to be so instant. I expected just to make a million dollars the next day. Every day I listened to these tapes, I thought, I got this. this is... And it started to tweak on me because it wasn't happening as fast as I wanted it to. That's what your ego will do to you. If it's not happening as fast as you want it to, it'll, it'll start to make you question the process and if it's worth it or if you're going to even make it or if it's even possible. I want you to trust in the process because without the process, you have no direction. Without the process, there's no, there's no momentum. You, every time you stand up and take a swing, that's progress. You're moving forward, you're building momentum. Even if you fail, you're, you're still getting to a higher point, a higher possibility in your life. It's going to take some time, it's going to take some effort, it's going to take you looking and developing every day, chasing an opportunity, but when the opportunity is given to you, that's the time to act. Don't sit back on your heels and wait for a better moment. The moment's never going to be better. If you're saying we're going to wait until the kids are growing up or wait until I pay my truck off or wait until this or that or anything else to happen you're gonna wait until you die and then nothing's ever gonna happen there's not gonna be a certain moment in your life when everything just shifts and turns on for the longest time I thought that for the longest time I thought if I listen to a motivational tape one of these days everything's just gonna turn around all my disciplines are just gonna turn around I'm just gonna the fire's just gonna be on you have to develop this fire, this momentum, this discipline. I've come so far now in the development of my mind, my beliefs and my work ethic and what I've put towards building this business and a better universe that there's no turning back. I've developed my mindset. I've listened to hundreds and hundreds of hours of motivational videos and successful people talking that I was able to shift my mindset to the point where I might not be successful now, but I know at a deep core level belief that if I just keep going, keep the discipline, keep the process going, that it can't be withheld from me. You always hear the yogis talk about enjoying the journey and not the destination. Success is a journey, not something you just get one day at, at the end of the destination. It's a process of building each block layer by layer to build this foundation, to build the walls, to build the roof, to build the house, to build the structure, to give you the life that you want. It all starts with discipline. Discipline to do the things that others won't do, to have the things that others won't have. If you build those disciplines every day, eventually that push, that discipline will turn into a pull. Something inside of you at a core level will change that'll pull you towards where you want to go. The only times I have to push myself in the, anymore is to get out of bed, but that's because my body has a profound effect over your mind. When your body's tired, when you first wake up, it's in control, it just tells you go back to bed. That's the only time I need discipline anymore. I don't need discipline to make these videos. I don't need discipline to work out four or five times a day. I don't need disciplines to do what I'm supposed to anymore. I don't need it because I feel the pull. I know the process. I can see the future outcome. It might not come as fast as I expect, but it will come. And I just have to trust that. That's part of what I want to instill in you.
to make this your life, to take it into a f account and affect it in a way that you can change it. It might not happen today, tomorrow, this week, next month. Your outcome that you want might not happen for one year to ten years. But if you look, which would you rather have? Would you rather have your desired outcome in ten years or would you rather get started in ten years because you finally realize that that's what it takes to build your empire or your desired life? Get started today. It's the best day to start. No better day. Tomorrow's gone. Yesterday's coming. Tomorrow, tomorrow's coming. Yesterday's gone. Time is now. Whatever you gotta do. Listen to the motivational tapes. On your ride to work, whenever you get free time, consciously think about what you're thinking about. It's all a process of development. It all starts with the mind. The mind is the intent. The mind is the focus and driving force. That's where you should start your journey. The body. The body will mostly listen to the mind. The body's easy to take care of. The body, you can develop through training, strength, weights, whatever. The mind's a little trickier to work, but it's what's gonna get you to the point where you don't have to be disciplined in your approach. To have that pull, that driving force, is gonna give you ultimate control of your life. It all starts on figuring out what you want though. You can't have a driving force, a pull, to some place that you have no idea where it is. You gotta find out your why. You gotta find out why it's important, what you want, what you need, what you desire. Start there and don't stop. All right, well, I think that's enough of my rambling for today. Stay 46 to 60. We're getting close. Keep on burning. Keep on driving. Keep on striving. This is Max from A Better Universe. Your mind, body, spirit connection. See you tomorrow.